Hi everyone, I have here two PA70s. If you want better thermal performance, it's imperative that you swap out some of the stock thermal pads. If you have the vapor chamber cooling system, you can see the shapes of the GPU memory modules deeply stamp into the two thermal pads on each side of the die, which means they're too thick for the job. They're potentially inhibiting a tight contact between the GPU die and the heatsink. So I swap them now with 1mm Arctic thermal pads which you can see are the blue color ones for the second GPU. Here's the stock one that I'll be getting rid of. If you have the separate heatsink for the GPU, I'd recommend swapping out all three of the gray thermal pads. Not only are they too thick, they kind of all just dried out and should be replaced anyway in this case. For the CPU heatsink, there are two thermal pads called the VRAMs. They are not too bad compared to the GPU thermal pads. So instead of swapping them out, I use a blade and cut off a thin layer from the thicker pad to reduce its thickness. That's the trimmed off portion, with some slide marks from pressing against the VRAMs. And for the bottom thermal pad, as it's already pretty thin and has pretty light marks, I just grab one side of it and stretched it a little bit. As it stretched it, the thickness of it would decrease a little to compensate the increase in slants. That should be enough in this case. Alright. Let's get back to assembling the components together. 